All right, hey guys, we have a nice relaxation flow today. So we're gonna be holding postures a little bit longer, more stretchy ones. We'll give a bunch of different variations of stuff and modifications. Get blocks, pillows might be good for you today. Um, actually, definitely grab a pillow or a blanket for a supported back bend that we're gonna get into, or even just for coming down to our forearms and stuff like that. So if you don't have any of that stuff, go grab it now, pause the video, and meet us back here. If you do have it all, we are gonna get started seated, so just find a comfortable posture. And that might be grabbing a pillow or block and sitting on it. And just starting to settle here on your mat. And taking a nice, slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, expanding across the chest, bringing the breath all the way to the crown. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just start to connect with your body. Noticing what's tight or constricted, what you need to create space in with that breath. Or perhaps what fight feels really good and you can expand throughout the body with that inhale. Shifting awareness to your energetic body, just noticing where your energy's at in this moment. Awareness shifts to the mental body. Where are your thoughts at tonight or today, whatever time you're watching this at? Are you ruminating on a certain situation, circumstance? Is there something you can't get off your mind? Perhaps you're all over the place and just know that that's okay. But taking this inventory is just checking in with where we are in the moment, bringing us back to that grounded space. And gently shifting your awareness to your heart space, just noticing how you feel emotionally today. And that might be different from when you felt or what you felt five minutes ago. Important thing is to set the ego aside and just to embrace wherever you are at on your mat. Take another slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, bending across the chest, bringing the breath all the way to the crown. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just taking this moment to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe it's something of your own that you're working towards, or I invite you to take the intention of embracing life's mystery. We always want to know what is going to happen next. But that takes the fun, the not knowing out of life. It takes the mystery and magic out of it all. It's so hard not to want to control. Even in times like today, we just want to know what's going to happen next. But unfortunately, we're not going to. So we just have to have that faith that positive mindset, that everything's gonna be okay because it's going to. Have the mindset of just using this time to simplify, to relax, to slow down, and do what's right for your body, your mind, your heart. Finding that ujjayi breath, slow controlled inhale to slow controlled exhale through the nose. Inhale, eyes open, arms reach overhead. Exhale, spinal twist, left hand to that right knee, right arm comes behind you. Full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. With each exhale, you allow yourself to get a little bit deeper here. Inhale brings you back up through center. Exhale, twist over to the other side. Right hand comes to that left thigh. Full deep inhale. Full deep exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale brings you back through center. As you exhale, hands plant. We're just gonna come into our child's pose here. So we're gonna come through our table, those knees go wide, toes touch, hips 
come back towards your heels. And if you want to bring a pillow and place it in between your glutes and your heels, go for it. Forehead comes down to the mat. Full breath in. Full breath out. Allow yourself to find peace in this posture. Connecting with that breath, going within of how you feel in the moment. As those hips melt towards those heels even more. Giving yourself these next few minutes, few moments to tune in to yourself. Asking yourself, what do you need? What do you want? Because they're two entirely different things and usually get different answers. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, press through the knees, come back onto those palms, come back to that neutral table. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, press through the center of your back and round. Inhale, brings you back to that neutral table, that right foot steps outside that right hand. Coming into our lizard lunge here. So that back knee goes back, <laughs> obviously. If you want to get, grab a blanket and put it underneath that knee, go for it. Hands can be on the floor. You can grab a pillow or blocks if you have blocks at home. Perhaps you bring your forearms down. You might even grab two pillows, put one of the pillows underneath your head, one underneath your forearms, just taking this where you want to go and really just allowing yourself to open up through this hip. And we're going to be holding this for a few moments. so. With each exhale, you allow yourself to get deeper here. Poses like this can sometimes be more challenging because we are forced to look within and embrace the stillness in a world that is never still anymore. Breath in. Breath out. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper here if you're on those blocks coming off them and on the forearms or you're some very, very bendy. I can even bring my whole chest down to the ground. That might not be you. And that's okay. Knowing that everyone's bodies are different. No one's better or worse than the other, just different. And we need to embrace that idea of doing what's best for us in the moment. And sometimes knowing that what we want is not necessarily what we need in that moment. Breath in. Breath out. Coming back on those palms, reaching around, taking the quad stretch here. If you want it, maybe you want to still ch stay chilled out in that lizard. Maybe you want to press that right thigh away. But just continuing to open up through these hips. Full deep inhale, full deep exhale. We always think our hamstrings are the tightest thing on our body, but actually our quads are, and we just don't know it. Our hamstrings are at a point where they're so stretched that they feel tight, like if you had a rubber band and you stretched it out to its breaking point, that's our hamstrings. Our quads are just, because of our lifestyle, our sitting, and cars, computers, couches, our hip flexors are so, so tight. I don't know why they're tight. Yeah. Slowly release that foot. Inhale brings you back to center. Exhale, find your half split here. Taking it into the hamstrings. Again, if you have blocks, you can use your blocks here, maybe bringing your forearms down to it. 
and bringing the hips or the glutes, I should say, over the knees, gonna deepen that stretch rather than bringing your hips down towards your foot. You'll feel a much deeper stretch if you stay perpendicular to the ground in that back leg. Full deep breath in, full deep breath out. Slowly press into those palms, bend into that front knee. Right knee comes back and meets left. Neutral table. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round. Inhale, that left leg steps outside that left hand, coming into that lizard lunge here. So setting this up again. Coming down to blocks or the floor. Really just allowing yourself to marinate here. Sometimes that's oh so challenging. So you connect with that breath. You allow that to take your attention. With each inhale, you create space and energy in any of the muscles that are tight, constriction or constricted. As you exhale, you just huh, let it go. Sometimes that verbal sigh can do oh so much for you. Taking it deeper if you want to go deeper. Full breath in. Full breath out. Noticing where the mind's going, if you're drifting away. Coming back onto those palms, opening through the heart, maybe staying here, pressing that left thigh away, or if you wanna take that quad stretch, go for it. And if you really wanna to try to get on the, the bottom part of that quad here so you're not on the kneecap. Allow yourself to twist open as you deepen into the quad here. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Tuck that tail or that pelvis, I should say, a little bit more to deepen. Press that right hip towards the ground. Press the right hand into the earth as well. Slowly release, take it back through center. Breath in, open through the heart. Exhale, find that half split, flex through the foot. Again, bringing those hips of glutes over that knee, flexing through that foot. Full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. Knowing that we have to embrace the ups and downs of life, the mystery, the unknown. It's how we grow, it's how we evolve, it's how we transform ourselves and how we react to it. it shows who we are, our people. So in times of stress or crisis, just know that everyone handles things differently. And bring your compassion, your appreciation, your love to everyone around you because that's the best thing that you can do. You can help press into those hands, come off the block if you're there, bend into the knee. As you exhale, left foot steps back. I'm gonna come through just one down dog here to make it to our half pigeon. So find your down dog, wrap triceps, inhale that right leg high. And as you exhale, that right knee comes to the right wrist. So 
So the important thing here is we want the hips to square to the front of the mat. So your hip might be really up right here. So you can bring a block underneath it, bring a pillow underneath it. Your back leg comes towards the midline. You puff up the chest first, deep breath in. And as you exhale, you slowly start to come down. Again, rounding the spine, we don't want. We want that spine to be straight, thinking your stomach to the calf rather than your chest to the calf. So elongate your spine out and just breathe here first. This might be, you might be feeling this right here. Maybe you feel it up here. Maybe you need blocks. Or maybe you take it down to your mat, open through that hip even more. As always, if this just isn't available to you, that's okay. Recline pigeon works just as well. You come onto your back, that right ankle comes above that left knee, you bring that shin to your thigh. Full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. Allowing yourself to settle. Giving yourself some self-love appreciation for coming to your mat today. Another full round of breath here. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. If you're in that recline pigeon, just unbind those legs, windshield wiper them left and right. If you're in your half pigeon, press into the palms. You can come back through your down dog or even through table. I'm, I always go through table. Shake that hip out however you would like. And then in your own time with your own breath, setting up for this on the other side. So that left leg lifts, left knee to left wrist. If you have super bendy hips, maybe you try to bring the leg towards the front of your mat, parallel. That back leg comes in, open up through that chest, and then just start to come down to your level with that straight spine. And then with each exhale, you perhaps deepen more and more and more. <sighs> Again, if this doesn't work for you, one side could be different than the other. Come right onto your back. That left knee comes above that right ankle. Flex through both feet. Interlace hands behind the thigh. And if the thigh is not accessible to you, you can stay here or even grab a towel or a strap, place it around your leg and lift it up as much as you can. Whatever works for you in the moment. Full breath in. Full breath out. Half pigeon is generally a pose that a lot of stuff comes up, whether it's thoughts, emotions. So see if you can just create space and connection with those things through your breath. Releasing whatever it is that you need to release, not bottling up or holding it in. Bringing this idea of compassion and love into your practice. Knowing that you are truly love itself. Breath in, breath out. Another full round of breath here. Slowly unbinding those legs if you reclined or Pressing out of this however you would like. Shaking that hip up, grabbing your blocks if you have it, or pillow. If you're from down dog, just making your way through neutral table in your own time and coming onto your seated posture. So you're up for just a supported fish pose here. So that block or pillow or whatever you have can go in between the shoulder blades. If you have a towel, you can roll it up like a yoga mat would roll up, put it right along the spine and have it. If you have like that yoga mat towel, put it at the base of the pelvis and extend it up. If you have a block, place it between the shoulder blades and allow your heart just to open up here. Allowing yourself to melt. Finding that soft heart, open body. Open mind. So 
focusing on that breath. Allowing the thoughts to start to drift away. Imagining with each inhale that chest, that heart grows bigger. With each exhale, you release any unwanted, subconscious garbage or stuff that's built up over the past how many years. Give yourself that permission to start, let it go. And it won't happen right away. But each time you do it, every time you give yourself that permission to let go, eventually you'll start to do it. You'll start to believe it. You'll start to release it. Breath in. Breath out. Two more full rounds of breath here. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Slowly come off that block, come off that pillow. And if you have a wall, I want you to scoot over to it. If you don't have a wall, you can use your block and pillow to put underneath your sacrum and extend those legs up. Otherwise, move over to your wall, like Lauren's doing here, and just slide on your back and allow your legs to go up the wall. You can get your butt as close to the wall as you want, or maybe you have a little space. And so we're gonna spend our shift. You have a butt. We'll shift this, we'll shift this up. Ready? <laughs> Lauren's having a crisis over here. I am, my back hurts. I That's the right. Mat. Use the mat. This is what happens when you have a bony tail, bony bow. Right? Don't get stuck up the wall. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully your floors at home might be carpeted or you're Carpet taking a mat with it. better, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how we're going to... Good. You never want to be uncomfortable. If at any point in your practice it is uncomfortable, you get out like we just did. You modify. This is how we're going to spend the Shavasana today. So find a comfortable posture. Allow your legs to go up the wall. Allow the heart to settle. Start to close those eyes. Take a nice, slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, expanding across the chest, bringing the breath all the way to the crown. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Just flipping your perspective right here, allowing the blood to flow in the opposite direction, shifting your mindset on the changes in the world, on the changes in your life, embracing the mystery and the unknown. Take another slow, long, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, expanding across the chest, bringing the breath all the way to the crown. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Shavasana. Embrace the mystery of life. You don't need to know everything in your head. You don't need to figure everything out. You don't need an instruction sheet or a set of rules. You don't need all the answers. Let yourself experience life. Hang on to the handlebars when you must, when things get tough. But as much as possible, put your hands in the air and enjoy the ride. 
Feel everything you need to feel along the way. Feel the fear. Feel the pain. Feel the heartbreak. Feel the joy. Feel the excitement. Feel the exhilaration. Feel the wind in your hair and the sun on your shoulders. Feel the vitality of life surge through you. See vitality in life and all that's around you. Watch the magical journey of your life unfold with all its ups and downs. Feel the awareness surge up from deep within. Grasp the insights that come. Grab the brass ring whenever you can. Embrace the mystery of life. Embrace the mystery and magic of you. Start to deepen the breath. Maybe noticing the subtle shifts and changes in the mind and the heart, the breath and the soul. Maybe bringing gentle movements to fingers and toes. And then just rolling over to your right or left side, find your fetal posture. If you're near that wall, you might have to scoot away from it a little bit. If you're on that block, just set it aside. Using this moment here to refresh if you need to, to restart. Taking a slow, deep inhale and slow, deep exhale. Taking these moments to embrace life's mystery, even when it doesn't seem like we want to or we don't know what's going on or it's scary because eventually we'll understand why it all happened, why it had, why it had to happen and how we all transformed and grew from whatever's going on, positive or negative. Press into that top hand, come to an easy seated posture. Inhaling arms overhead one last time. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Hands come heart center. As always, I thank each and every one of you for practicing with us. Live the light, be the light, spread the light. Divine light in me honors the divine light in each and every one of you. So we bow together and say, Namaste. Awesome job, everyone. Hopefully you're all relaxed and released right now. Any questions, just throw them out to us. Other than that, we'll see you next time.